Alright guys, last car for this trip. O2 Mitsubishi Montero Sport. I'll show you what's going on. So, initially it was a crank no start. Uh, the shop owner told me somebody worked on it, you know, one of their workers, and apparently something was wrong with the fuse box. And I found this guy blown and it's a higher amperage than the stock 20 amp is supposed to be in there uh, that guy right there so it even blew a 30 amp fuse now this fuse is it's basically everything has to do with engine controls PCM fuel uh, here I actually made a list Here's what the current looks like right now in that fuse. No, nothing excessive, uh, about five amps. <clears throat> so according to our power distribution diagram, this fuse feeds the PCM and through the main relay, it feeds, again, PCM power, idle air control, uh, fuel injectors, cam and crank, EVAP. Uh, I didn't even bother going through the whole list, but for an intermittent short to ground, what does Scanner Danner say? Heat and vibration, right? So visual inspection is key here. Uh, first thing I noticed, someone's been here before, there's RTV sealant on the valve cover gasket, there's oil leaking, there's still oil leaking onto the exhaust manifold there. The O2 sensor lives right there, uh, but you know, you can do visual inspection of the harness, everything seems to be pretty okay. And this looks pretty fresh, and that's the other upstream sensor. Again, visual inspection of the harness, looks okay. Remember the O2 heaters are powered by this relay, and that's where a lot of heat and vibration is. You know, cam, crank. Now. Let's grab our light and look at the downstream O2 heaters. Okay, there's four oxygen sensors here total. So let me grab that light. So working on SUVs, it's kind of nice. Let's see here. Here are the two downstream sensors. They're actually right side by side. You can see one and one hiding. Um, uh, uh, uh. Okay, here we go. So we have two pigtails, two oxygen sensors, right? I'm like, hmm. Well, the harness kind of goes along the frame rail. But check this out. This looks very suspicious. That heat shield right there. And the sheath is not protecting that wire. What I'm going to do lightly touch that wire and see if the engine stalls out. If we, uh, if we blow my 20 amp fuse. Alright, uh, let's see. Oh, right there. Woo! See the spark? Bingo. That's wicked cool here after again. I didn't blow my 20 amp yet, but it will. So proof of concept here. Nice. Let's stall this car out. That's it. We're done. That was cool.